just a two and a half hour drive east of Melbourne and we're surrounded by the magic of Gippsland. This extensive region stretches all the way to the border of New South Wales. It's known for its natural beauty, from its spectacular coastline to its world-class wilderness, its snowfields and its rivers and famous lakes district. Michael, Walhalla. The Valley of the Gods and the home of slain heroes. Spectacular, isn't it? I mean, it, it, today Walhalla has uh, historic buildings mixed with parklands, mm. but you have to imagine what this town was like with all the open areas at the moment filled with buildings. During the 1890s, there was about four and a half thousand people living within this valley, jammed in. So it was a very, very different place to what it is today. Well, Halla has had a very unique history. It was basically abandoned in 1915 when the gold ran out. So from 19, 1863 to 1915, it was extremely prosperous. When the gold mining finished, it didn't actually run out, but it finished here, um, the town was pretty much abandoned. And that meant for a period of about 70 to 80 years, well, Halla was literally locked in time. And the nearby Aberfeldy track is a brand new adventure for us all. What a day. The Aberfeldy track is home to some of the most incredible gold rush history. The drive is made up of 180 kilometres of road covering some of the most striking scenery in the region. As we make our way, we pass people camping and fishing alongside the track. And it's all thanks to park ranger Noel and his team, who spent 18 months piecing the stories all together. This is our Noel, our expert. <laughs> yeah, pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, and, um, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. On the Aberfeldy you are. Yeah, well, I've been here for 35 years and I've always been interested in um, historical sites. Oh. And, and this is what people will find on their journey around the Aberfeldy track, the Heritage Trail. And as you can see, this one here is it's a, a place of rumours and controversy, oh. Bark Hut. You know, it was one of the first um, establishments built on the McAvoy's track. And as you can see, it was an old log cabin with drawer. There what seems to be over behind us here, right. or what's left of maybe an old chimney. There's broken glass around, 1862, and apparently, um, John Davies, you know, lost his uh, dog. dog and had a reward out and hired a person to hunt down the person who took it. And I believe, uh, the story goes, they never ever found who took the dog. Probably a snake, but who knows. <laughs>